for our number 16, we have to draw the curves and then find the area between them um, from 0 to 2 pi. So we will begin with drawing our cosine of x. So since it is between 0 to 2 pi, we only need um, from the positive side. So that is pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Um, it does begin at 1, and it goes to negative 1. So, yes. And now we have to draw 2 minus cosine of x. So it's um, a cosine function that has been flipped upside down, has been reflected across the x-axis, and also has been shifted up by 2. Um, what this means is that, and maybe I will extend the axis over here, um, so that is 0, 1, 2, 3. So the peak, uh, it goes from 3 all the way to 1. Uh, so it should look something like, um, and actually it doesn't begin at the peak, it begins at the valley because it was flipped upside down. So it should begin at here and then it should go up all the way to all the way to its peak at three and then turn around and go back to to its valley should look something like this and at this point they do intersect because one is the valley for um, the function two minus cosine of x and it is the peak for y is equal cosine of x so with this in mind, uh, we do know our boundaries of integration because it, it is from 0 to 2 pi, and our area between them is this whole section over here. That is, it's an interesting looking kind of shape. Um, so for us to integrate this, we do have our boundaries of integration, and we do consist consistently have the same function as the upper boundary, which is 2 minus cosine x, and the same function for the lower boundary, which is cosine of x. So we can go ahead and set that up as a single integral. So it is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the upper function, 2 minus cosine of x, minus the lower function, so minus cosine of x, and all of this times dx. So let's clean this up a little bit before we integrate. This is equal to from 0 to 2 pi of 2 minus 2 cosine of x dx. So once we have this, we can go ahead and apply our reverse power rule in our trig integrals. So um, this becomes 2x minus uh, the integral of minus 2 times the integral of cosine of x, which is just sine of x. And all of this applied between 0 to 2 pi. So all we have to do now is to calculate our boundaries. Um, so for the upper boundary, we do have 2x, uh, sorry, that should be 2 times 2 pi. So 2 times 2 pi minus 2 sine of 2 pi, and let's apply our lower boundary now. Um, then this goes minus 2 times 0, and then uh, minus minus 2, so plus 2 sine of 0. So now we just need to calculate this. Uh, this is 4 pi. Uh, sine of 2 pi is equal to 0, so minus 0 minus 0, and then sine of 0 is also 0, so plus 0. So to finish this off, this is just equal to 4 pi. 
and that should give us the area between these two curves.